Late last year, DJI announced an update to its geofencing technology, and there's one reason that it's now rolling out quickly, Gatwick. Hi, I'm Ash from Droning On, and in November 2018, DJI revealed details of their new Geo version 2.0, which basically enhanced their existing geofencing technology, enabling them to classify airport no-fly zones by risk, in other words, low, medium, and high. The new risk system means that drone operators will be limited on how close they can fly to, and also the altitude ceiling and floor around sensitive areas, including airports. But the key change is also the move away from the ridiculous circular pattern of the no-fly zone technology before. This circular pattern never really covered the airport, nor protected the approach to those airports. And so the new bow tie strategy, which mirrors general aviation airspace limits limitations will also be imposed as part of the new technology. When we think back to the incident of the A380 in Mauritius where the drone operator was able to fly it during its approach, the new bow tie pattern would stop that from happening unless of course the user had hacked their firmware or not upgraded. Now already I can hear some parts of the community shouting, no, don't tell me what I can do with my drone. Well, the reality is that this actually helps you. It stops you from stumbling accidentally into controlled airspace and potentially risking a heavy fine or police knocking on your door. A number of countries globally has already imposed new drone regulations and laws. Countries such as Canada and the UK now already have on-the-spot fines and also the ability for police to arrest you if you're flying your drone irresponsibly, be it on purpose or by accident. So the benefit of updating your drone to this latest technology is it will stop you getting in trouble. Now it does mean that you might not be able to fly in some places that you used to fly, but think of it realistically. It means that those areas do potentially have the risk of manned aircraft and you don't want to risk a collision with any of those. The new Geo2 update is deploying to 32 countries globally, but in addition, it's also being rolled out to countries that didn't previously have geofencing as part of the DJI Go 4 app. Personally, I applaud DJI for being a responsible manufacturer and for doing what they can to try and improve the name of drones globally. They're also promoting safer flying practices, and that can't be a bad thing. Now there are scenarios where certified or professional enterprise pilots do need to fly within controlled airspace. For that reason, DJI have improved their unlocking system where you can submit a request to unlock a no-fly zone and the response is received normally within 30 minutes or less. The updates will arrive via app and firmware and we do urge you all to update because not only will you get this additional protection to stop you accidentally straying into controlled airspace, but also you'll get the latest updates for your drone, including bug fixes and additional features. Comment below on this video, let us know your thoughts, be it positive or negative. In the meantime, click that subscribe button, give the video a thumbs up, and be sure to visit our discussion group. There's a link in the video description. I'll be opening this box soon as well, and you don't want to miss that video. Thanks very much for watching.